I want to start with an image I saw in my regeneration pilot group. And it was this picture of a World War II era, 550 pound bomb exploding in Munich, Germany. And what was noteworthy about this was that it occurred in 2012. What happened was Germany was singularly focused on getting back up on its feet and show the world how strong it was. But in doing so, it laid the foundations of these new buildings on top of unexploded bombs, which are now going off. Uh, my name is Tyler and I've been coming to VG for three years and the story captures what I was doing in my life. And rather than deal with the bombs and allow God to defuse them, I covered them up and focused on moving on. But not dealing with that sin doesn't cause the bombs to go away. And eventually they go off and they hurt the people that we love and they hurt us. And for me, my bomb was that I was hiding an addiction to pornography. Uh, my struggle with porn goes way back to when I was 13 or so. Uh, and it's followed me all the way into adulthood. I remember thinking, when I get married, I can finally leave this wretched sin in the past. And then I got married to an extraordinary woman, Noelle, and was enjoying a deep, meaningful marriage that included being sexually satisfied. But nevertheless, pornography eventually came back. And I knew it would devastate her if she learned about it. Uh, so I convinced myself that I was protecting her uh, by not telling her about it. And my long running addiction to pornography had nothing to do with her. So uh, anytime she asked me about it, I lied to her. And I was thinking to myself, a, a mature Christian shouldn't struggle with this. I can fix this by focusing on Christ more um, and I don't need to involve anybody else. But this strategy never led to healing. In, in November 2017, after lying to her for 10 years, she walked in on me looking at it. Our son was less than a month old at the time and all of my fears of what would happen came true. I wrecked my wife's heart. And this was a very dark time for both of us. Uh, but it was also getting caught was the best thing that could have happened for me and for our marriage. Uh, I begged God daily to restore my wife's heart. I prayed, God, you are in the redeeming and restoring business, and you are my only hope for my marriage. Just please save it. Uh, and eventually he did, after months of prayer and relying on Christ and pursuing my wife. And one of the main tools that he used was a ministry called Regeneration. Uh, this is a recovery ministry made for people like me, uh, people who are struggling with sin and need help. Uh, Regen helped me see that porn wasn't my root problem like I thought it was. It was simply a side effect and a coping mechanism of the idolatry that was in my heart. And I see now that my idols of comfort and convenience and pleasure were more important to me then than truly following Christ. Uh, but now that I've found, while God's way is often more difficult and painful, its joys and satisfactions far outweigh the fleeting pleasures of sin. 